experts call an accidental discovery on the Iron Range, but they found one of the most significant helium reservoirs in the world. We've been to Babbitt to show you the underground mine. By summer, engineers hope to start building a plant that will extract that gas and store it on the surface. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan explains how a company in New Prague will help make it happen. Drilling half a mile into the ground? That wasn't easy, but that also wasn't the hard part. With the spigot opened, engineers at Pulsar Helium now have to bottle up that gas and put it into production. That's where Chart Industries in New Prague comes in. This is just as important. It gives great perspective, seeing what the, uh, the end game's all about. We've seen the big tanks, seeing that uh, what could be accomplished here in Minnesota. Pulsar Chief Executive Thomas Abraham James still all smiles since we first met him last February. As the gas comes out the ground, the next stage is refining that gas and creating a pure helium product. And that's the equipment that's provided here by Chart. And then the storage tanks for uh, storing that pure helium uh, before it then goes off to wherever the customers need it to be. Help paint the picture. We've seen the big drill rigs. Now, how many tanks will be up there? What's a production facility going to look like? No, so the tanks will be right next to the uh, production facility, so they'll be right there on site near the wellheads, and uh, there'll be, I'd imagine, somewhere between two and four of them to start off with. How many could there be? Uh, well, that's, that's the big question that we're looking to answer, and so uh, we think we're onto something big. The cost to design and build the plant in Babbitt, up to $50 million, but they wouldn't build it if they didn't think the business would come. Helium is a $3 billion industry, and blimps and balloons... They're not the only markets inflating that price. Helium is used in rockets, aerospace, semiconductors, welding, and MRI machines. When compressed into a liquid, helium is the safest and most efficient coolant around. And it takes some special tanks to keep it that way. Liquid helium is about minus 450 degrees Fahrenheit. There's walls within, so there's double-walled insulation with the super insulation in between and vacuum pressure tanks, and that's what helps keep that gas a liquid, again, at super critical cold temps. In New Prague, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. Chart is expected to complete its design for the plant this spring, and it could be up and running by the summer of 2026.